All right. Uh, before we get into it, I just wanted to point out a couple things. Um, I got a lamp for the office now. Uh, <clears throat> just because the the light in my office went out, and honestly, I think it's more aesthetically pleasing in here having the lamp. Because personally, I think the light kind of uh, washed out the camera quite a bit and kind of looked like shit. Um, secondly. Uh, this is a brand new series that we are going to be starting that I want to do called uh, Game Jolt Game Nights. Uh, it's going to be basically going back to my roots a little bit. I used to play a lot of Game Jolt in like these indie kind of fan horror games uh, all the time when I started off on YouTube. And I thought it would be pretty cool just to go back and have a day uh, specifically into looking at these kind of games. So I haven't really chosen a day yet. Uh, I'm thinking Mondays just because, you know, I chose today of all days to do it. But, uh, the game we're going to be looking at today, or for now, um, we might look at some other ones later tonight, depending on how quickly we get through this one. Uh, this one is called Juniors. This is a pretty big one that I've actually seen, uh, quite a bit recently. So, it's basically a remake, I guess you would call it, of Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, the animatronics look amazing. They look like they, um, they fit the 1980s kind of, like, time period where the FNAF story kind of takes place. Um, it's got that very early, like, Chuck E. Cheese kind of, like, animatronic vibe. And it has a whole interesting spin on, uh, it has an interesting spin on how to go about the FNAF's, uh, like, gameplay style. Uh... I, pr I probably didn't explain it the best, but we'll go over the basics. So, finding who's possessed. Um, check the security cameras. Look for flicker flickering lights or handprints on camera lenses. And mark the possessed character on the laptop. So, from what I'm aware of with this game, uh, there is one ghost. So, this game is much more paranormal based than some of the others. Uh, and our goal is to basically kind of gather evidence and single out, uh, that what ghost, or what animatronic the ghost is in. And we have to do this a set number of times each night. There's no, like, surviving until 6am or anything like that. We basically have to, uh, uh, call out the ghost a certain amount of times to basically end the night. Which I think is a very interesting concept. Uh, every time you correctly guess the haunted animatronic via the laptop, the ghost will once again take over an animatronic suit. Watch closely for clues like flickering lights, camera outages, handprints upon leaving, and more to track down the haunted animatronics. Uh, watch carefully. When you're ready to click which animatronic you think is haunted, well, it's obviously Bonnie. One last thing. Keeping the robots safe. Uh, check the animatronic stability from time to time. Call the animatronics to the conveyor belt for repairs, but make sure they're not haunted. So, basically what this means is um, we have to make sure that all the animatronics are repaired. I guess like we replaced their batteries or something like that. And... Uh, we have to be careful about which ones we let in, but at the same time, we can't let it go below 0% or we get jump scared and killed, essentially. Um, that's the unique thing about this game, is they can't get into the office, from what I'm aware. Like, they don't, uh, they're not a threat to you while you're in the office. They will only actually jump scare you once they reach, like, 0%, which I think doesn't make it as scary. Uh, just because you'll know that the jump scare is coming. But an interesting mechanic, uh, nonetheless. <clears throat> Whoa. Where am I? Am I dead? My body. This place. It feels so weird. I seem to be fine, but I feel... Empty. I feel as if I am being stopped, but this feeling is new to me. 
Can anyone hear me? Crunch, crunch. What was that? Who was out there? Are they eating celery? I'm not looking for trouble. I just need to get out of here. Please. Well, I've never seen anything like you before. It's like a Banjo Kazooie character. Oh, wow. Hi there, I'm Dr. Sloan. Well, hello. This is kind of neat, especially considering the engine that this is built in. Uh, I'll try and help the best I can from here on out, if that's okay with you. Uh, sure. Rules. No run. X poop. I'll, I'll try to remember that. Uh, golly, I wasn't expecting you to show up. I'm Paul Bear. Where the hell am I? Who are you? Oh, you're in the Barrens. A limbo between life and death. I'm dead? How is that even possible? What happened to me? Slow down there, little buddy. I said limbo between life and death. You aren't dead at all. What does that mean? Even mean? It means you can go back to the real world whenever you want. Is he a Flintstone character? It looks like it. <laughs> Uh, okay, great. Send me back now. I don't belong here. Yeah, not so fast. I brought you here to help me with some unfinished business I have in the real world. Why can't you just do it yourself? Unfortunately, I'm not alive like you. I've been trapped in here for as long as I can remember. I've been waiting to cross paths with someone like you. Someone that could help me move on to the afterlife. I'll even make you an offer. You help me with my unfinished business, and I'll lend you a helping hand with your investigation. I know Junior's like the back of my hand. Go over to the bed. I'll transport you back to the real world. Meet back here tomorrow night. Oh, well that was fast. Uh, use the cameras to search for haunted animatronics. If you see... Anomalies such as flickering lights, handprints appearing where a character disappears or more. Open your laptop to the left and report them by holding the space after selecting them with the lower interface. Alright, so this is our camera. Oh, WASD to navigate. Okay, act one, I got a few words to say. Oh. I just saw somebody. Wow, these guys are pretty creepy looking. Uh... Oh, was that add normal? My only issue is I'm having a hard time already making out who's supposed to be who. Oh, that looked like it might have been Chica. Alright, let's actually let's see if we can find Chica again to see if that's actually who it is. Cause I don't think it's Foxy. 
Uh, I will find you, Chica. Oh, maybe it's not Chica, because this is flickering quite a bit. Oh, but Chica's in here too, though. But that could just be the camera, though. Uh... Oh, I can't pause it all, damn. I was trying to read chat. Uh, if it's Balloon Boy, his sanity bar glitches. Can I speak with... Yeah, that was my fault. I thought there was a pause button. We'll just jump straight into it and just skip it. There. <laughs> it's easy to get back. Uh, only the haunted one can do anything paranormal. I did do a test run of this before. And it was, uh, I made it to night two before I stopped. I just wanted to make sure everything ran fine. But last time I played, it was Freddy for me twice. Uh, plates flickering could be caused by faulty wiring, though. Look closely for sudden movements slash weird movements. Leave this here for the next investigator or whatever. Three of them left. The ghost has entered an animatronic. Remember the check BB? Who where's BB? I have a feeling it might be Freddy. The last time I played, I didn't see Balloon Boy at all. He doesn't show up, but you never know. So there's two in here. Yeah, I I have a feeling it's Freddy. Uh, keep an eye on this panel and make sure every stability number is above zero. Well, I'll call in one that I definitely know is not it. That scared me every time I had to do that. Oh, it's flickering a lot. It could just be the camera, though. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. I feel pretty positive about it being Chica, though. If they're haunted, then no matter what, they can do anything. There is no specific signs for a character. Results, 3-22-44. I think last time I played, I got, uh... I got, like, 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Just because it was, uh, Freddy just back-to-back.